Well, it's five after seven in the evening. I was gonna test fly that little uh, Tittle G electric today, but <laughs> 40 K gusts, gusts of wind and that ain't gonna happen. So there's only one thing left to do. So what to build next? This one uh, comes with the uh, little Trexler wheel, which is neat because uh, they're not always hard to, f not always easy to find these things. I got a bunch of them here, but, so you get a bunch of Lazy Bee kits, and you got your plywood pieces. Pretty slick how they do it. That's it. That's your wood package. Including the uh, cardboard base, and you got your wing spur. So this one's construction will be a little different than the, uh, the little G, little G, little G, and uh, get this sucker put together. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep a log. I'm gonna t keep a log on how long it takes to build this thing. Hmm. First thing, be real careful getting that tape off. It'll pull all your parts out. And uh, just broke one, taking the tape off that. So, especially where it's going across the grain. So right away, I gotta fix a bulkhead. So there's a heads up for you. Don't throw the cardboard away because there's your push rods. Fix the broken bulkhead. I was using a knife to cut the pieces out. You could probably punch them out, but better off using a knife. At least you know your parts are going to come out clean. Right away I got another problem here, the uh, balsa, it's nice balsa, but see this sheet here, nice green on it, this guy's got a borderline knot and you see this dark side here, this is really hard, um, that might cause me some grief when it comes to uh, getting the fuselage taper right. Um, but the system it has, um, it might be okay. I don't know. We'll find out when I try it. The fit of these, par the fit of these parts is quite amazing. One of the tricks they tell you is, is squeeze the little tabs so they'll fit in there better. But Sometimes I just wiggle them in there. They go in nice and tight. As you can see on this side, she's got a pretty good knot in her, and that wood's hard, so. Yeah. Could be interesting how this one goes together. Say, judging by the way this is designed, it might be okay.
Next step is they uh, want to bond, uh, glue this. I'm reading their instructions. Start called bonding in here, and it's almost like a fender for that front wheel. What I'm going to do is wait because until I finish all the sanding, and then I'll probably be one of the last things to put on will be that bit of a task putting this on. I was going to originally glue it up here then bend it down later but decided to hold it and bend it down nothing worse than having this glued up and then finding out you're not lined up properly down here so did it all at once just to keep her straight now it's time to sand my fingers because the glue is really starting to build up there I just laminated these so your axle goes through the fuselage and you can see the green's vertical here the other one's horizontal I thought I taped myself doing this but I didn't so helps when you push the button so A and B go together not A and A and B and B putting a little taper on that axle tube that way when you slide it in there, it's not digging and gouging its way through your balls of fuselage. Make sure the axle is going to go through your F8s. Don't, uh, probably don't want to get any wood stuck in there. Check here. And make sure you don't glue your axle. I'm just going to use a little tiny spot, and they say just tack glue it in. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Just a little tiny drop of uh, medium or even thick, just enough to hold them there. And I'm going to pull the axle out. I don't have to worry about it being glued in. But I'll uh, slide the axle along. Put a little dab up in this corner here. A uh, little dab in the back corner. Just, just enough to tack them on there. Slide them back with the axle in place. Press those two corners together. Done, and your axle is not part of the wood. I'll just do the same for the other side. I always test fit these things before I put them in. And I spin the axle while I'm going through the balsa. Fits good. Leave the axle in. And when you just draw the axle back you have easy access to those two corners. Finish her off with some thin Puddle bug, there's a little more to it than the other one. A little bit trickier. I don't seem to be having any uh, too much trouble with that side, that hard side there. The knot in it. Thanks to the uh, pre-shaped top, fuselage top, it seems to have everything lined up good. Yeah, she looks pretty good. Now, uh, now that I've done that, I've Put some thin over those two 
pieces there because that wheel is going to be in there rubbing around so I just hard, harden that balsa up a bit just to put up with that wheel turning in there okay, the next thing you do is just carve that F8 to match the uh, wheel outlet here so I did a little bit of it with the knife got the heavy stuff out and I got a hardwood dowel with sandpaper on it so plus it'll give me the right angle so we'll just finish that off the sandpaper and dowel and it'll be pretty much perfect and I'm uh, coming in from behind as well the uh, that way of course the wheel is round I'm just kind of following the contour that I made in the front taking it around the top and this fella here is making that real easy Okay, with the exception of the uh, little fender thingy they want you to stick in the front, one hour, 45 minutes, just two minutes after 10, the uh, fuselage is built, so, you know, that's, that's pretty quick. All I got left to do now is I'm just going to sand this down a bit. A little bit of a recess here or the joint where this balsa meets that ply. So I just glued some uh, scrap in there. Yeah, I'm probably being too fusty. Snipped it off. And uh, now I'm just carving away some of the excess and then I'll just finish off the rest with the sandpaper. There, 15 minutes of sanding. Gives me a full two hours building that fuselage and she's done.